An after scanning profile contains configurable collection of functions which automatically execute in the background both after and during scanning. Typically, an after scanning profile does OCR, enhancements, runs macros, document separation, and saving to, for an example, PDF slash A. If you are using several different scanners or use different configurations for the same scanner, you will find it handy to switch quickly between different pre-configured after scanning profiles. An after scanning profile can be used for post-processing documents scanned on your local Twain scanner or for processing documents that arrive from a fleet of multifunction devices in DocServer. First, let's take a look at how to change current after scanning profile. In this example, we will modify the profiling called Mail Scanning. Click the Configure button to display the configuration dialog for this profile. This dialog contains several tabs to ease configuration. As you can see, there are separate tabs for general processing, for document separation, saving, and so on. The General tab provides functions for macro execution, contrast enhancement, deskewing, removal of blank pages, OCR, automatic page orientation, etc. Notice you will find two places under the General tab where macros can be executed. You can apply a macro to the entire paper batch, to each separate document, or both. If your production format is PDF slash A compact, you should avoid using the ACRO option. However, if your production format is TIFF, you may consider letting ACRO automatically reduce pure black and white pages which were scanned in full color to true monochrome pages to reduce final file size. In addition, ACRO may be configured to reduce the resolution of true color pages. To configure ACRO and to learn more about it, click the Option button to the right of the ACRO checkbox. It's very efficient to scan entire batches instead of one document at a time. If you want PixEdit to use automatic document separation, you must specify how each document is separated in the batch. If each document is separated with separation barcode sheets or by barcode stickers on the first page of each document, you must specify the barcode type. When you choose a barcode type, PixEdit will display various options for barcode error checking. For example, you can configure PixEdit to prompt you if a barcode sticker contains too many or too few characters. If you want to separate each page as a separate file or document, or separate by an interval count, choose Interval Separation and specify the number of pages in each document. This is useful when scanning batches of documents with fixed number of pages like forms. If you need to extract data from fixed forms, such as an opinion poll, check Forms Processing. PixEdit saves extracted form data to HML or to plain text files using delimiters. We'll show you more about Forms Processing on a later video here at PixEdit.com. To add stamps, use the Stamp tab. You can add a stamp to all pages or only the first page of each separated document. The stamp itself can contain date and time or simply a configured text string. In production environments, you will most likely prefer to use automated saving. If you have unchecked automated saving, produced documents will open in PixEdit's main window under separate tabs until saved and closed manually. Although PixEdit can save documents to a wide range of file formats – TIFF, JPEG, PDF to name a few – the most desired file format in today's production environments is PDF slash A. Use PDF slash A raster quality 40 to 80 for very high production quality, or PDF slash A compact quality 100 or less for medium quality and very small files. PDF slash A Compact is suitable for all types of ordinary correspondence. If you scan maps or require photographic quality on scanned pages, we recommend using PDF slash A Raster. Notice PDF slash A Raster file format accepts a wide range of compression types, among them several non-destructive methods. Just be aware the use of most non-destructive compression types requires larger storage space than, for example, the JPEG compression type. 
The final quality, however, will be very high if you choose a non-destructive compression method. Save documents get their file names from barcodes separating each document. If you don't use barcodes to separate documents, you can specify the file names to be taken from current date and time, or from file name or extension counters. If your batches are not coming from your local Twain scanner, but instead from a fleet of multifunction devices, you can choose Add the original file name to the specified naming convention, or simply use the original file name. Use this part of the Saving tab to specify default save locations for each process document. Notice the default save location can be overridden in DocServer. When a profile such as this one is used in DocServer, it can, in addition to being used for the local Twain scanner, also be used for several input and output folders without considering the save location specified in the profile. You can learn more about this in the DocServer video. Use the Profile tab to edit, delete, and create new profiles. When you click the Add button to create new profile, you will be asked to give the new profile a name. The new profile will inherit all its settings from the current selected profile. This is useful when making several, almost identical profiles. As soon as you have given your new profile a suitable name, use the various tabs and options to change the profile content. New profiles will immediately be visible in both ScanBar and DocServer. As you can see, the current used profile is mail scanning. Now we'll use the Add button to create new profile based on the mail scanning profile. We'll let the new profile do the same thing as the mail scanning profile, but in addition, the new profile will add a stamp to each document. Therefore, we'll call the new profile Mail Scanning with Stamps and click OK. Then quickly go to the Stamp tab and check Stamp Process Documents, then click OK to save the new profile. By the way, if we had not used the Add button, we would simply have changed the current mail scanning profile. The new profile called Mail Scanning with Stamps is now available as a choice in ScanBar, enabling you to very quickly swap between these two profiles before scanning a batch. As mentioned, an after-scanning profile can be used to process documents from your local Twain scanner, as well as be used to process batches of documents emerging from a fleet of multifunction devices and other types of file-producing equipment. The Doc Server window will happily do this simultaneously as you scan and process batches using your local Twain scanner. We will have a close look at the Doc Server window in the next video here at Pixedit.com.